So I'm going to do some uh, impressions for you. Exciting. <laughs> Yeah, no, no good, that's about the right level of excitement. <laughs> now, I say that because too much enthusiasm can be a little bit of a, a wearing, annoying thing. Kind of, there's this one guy sort of following me around at the moment, he's just <sighs> too enthusiastic about everything. And it's just Because he's a comedian, he sees himself as some kind of guru figure for me, and he's, he's really not. And I'll just be sitting there, minding my own business in a local cafe or something, just trying to do some writing, you know, just, just keep my head down. And you're bowling. Cafe Nero, my favourite cafe of the world! <laughs> oh, shit. Hello, what are we doing here? Are we well? <laughs> yep, yep, I was just doing some... I was just doing some... Uh... <laughs> I've got a live one here, I was just doing some writing, I don't know if you know the, uh, I don't know if you know the American uh, actor, Americans, have we noticed Americans, when they say pants, they mean trousers, <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, uh, you want to be kind, don't you, because, because that voice, <laughs> that's the sound of a man who's ripe for a nervous breakdown. <laughs> No, mind you, I've sort of I've tried telling you before, I can't really use your, your obvious observational stuff. It's, it's just not really what I do. The way that is, the irony in you criticizing me for making obvious observations, which, in and of itself, is by far the most obvious thing that there is to say about me. The way that is, the irony, hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's very ironic, Michael. They wouldn't understand the Americans, the irony, they wouldn't get it. You can have that. No, I don't. Michael, can you stop skipping? Stop. We're in a cafe, Michael. Just stop. So that's, uh, that's one of the downsides of, of working in show business is having uh, friends, acquaintances. Having acquaintances uh, like that. I suppose you can't really blame him because, you know, he's just trying to make most of it while he's on top, isn't he? Well, won't be long before he's just like that guy in the pub. Every pub's got one, so I'm just sitting in the corner, talking to everyone and no one, a little bit like me now. <laughs> just sort of, you know, harking back nostalgically to when his life was better, so when he was really, really the man, he just sits there in his corner, nursing his pint. I miss the 90s. Does anyone else, come on, yeah, who misses the 90s? When the 90s grew up. I mean, come on, think about it. There were so many great things about the 90s. There was, you know, you know, Spice Girls, fax machines, well, fax machines, great. What about, think about some of the, the television. Now, now, Johnny, Johnny, you sure you want to, you sure you want to go down this route? Because, you know, you know, you know how you get when you talk about, it's fine, we're just having a nice chat about the 90s. It's going to be fine. It's fine, a television gap in the 90s, yeah? What about Blind Date, yeah? There was a dating show, wasn't it, yeah? Not even, not even take me out rubbish. Blind Date, yeah? Amazing television. In the 90s. Does anyone, I don't know if anyone remembers, what was on in the mornings? <laughs> on the television. In the 90s. Does anyone, does anyone remember that again? Don't say TVAM, Gat, come on. Come on, let's be honest, apart from the guy jumping around on the weather map, who was amazing. <laughs> jumping. On the door. It was all about the big breakfast, Gat, come on, it was brilliant. <laughs> It was the early morning Jonathan Ross. It was the breakfast Russell Brand. I was a one-man Anton Deck. Things just aren't the same anymore. Things are rubbish now. <laughs> they don't want the breakfast biscuit. <laughs> got thousands of bastards. <laughs> anyway, look, uh, yeah, I've got to go. I've got to be up early in the morning. The radio. <laughs> And off he goes, 20 to 4 in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, very sad, very sad. There's another, um, 